Let's shift our focus to America now. U.S. President Joe Biden just had a close call. A sedan got dangerously close to his motorcade, crashing into his Secret Service vehicle. This incident raises crucial questions about whether or not U.S. presidential security is in a shambles. We bring you a blow-by-blow -blow account of how it all unfolded in our next report. Take a look. An alarming incident in Delaware has raised red flags about the security of the U.S. president. Recent footage reveals a dramatic scene. It involves a sedan, a Secret Service vehicle, and President Joe Biden and the First Lady. Here's how it unfolded. President Biden was outside his campaign offices in downtown Wilmington around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He and First Lady Jill Biden were speaking to reporters after finishing dinner scheduled with the campaign staff members. It was then that a sedan bearing Delaware license plates suddenly hit the Secret Service vehicle. The collision happened at an intersection just 130 feet away from the President's location. The Secret Service reacted swiftly and decisively. Their hands tightly gripping their firearms, ready to respond if a threat arose. Their firm commands to the driver can be heard in the video. Photographs from the scene show a shocked President Biden being quickly led away. Despite their assurances of the incident being accidental, the situation has raised serious concerns. How could a vehicle come so close to the President's highly secure motorcade? motorcade that's well known the world over for being unreachable. Wilmington police, confirming that there were no injuries, are now investigating possible impairment as a cause of the crash. In other words, the possibility of the sedan driver being fatigued or under the influence of alcohol or other substances like drugs is still on the table. Although President Biden and the First Lady were unharmed, this incident hints at a potential weakness in presidential security measures. If one fatigued or drunk driver can come within a 40-meter radius of the president unintentionally, how easy would it be for an assailant with months of planning to close in on him? The question becomes even more pressing if you look at the truckloads of money spent on the president's security. It's well documented that just the state limousine that the President of the United States travels in costs a massive $15.8 million. This car, nicknamed Beast, is immune to chemical attacks, has night vision devices, smoke screens and defensive measures. Apart from this, the presidential motorcade has anywhere between 40 to 50 cars. Jet black, bulletproof and with more countermeasures than we can list. The President's security detail is formed after carefully picking which cars would best serve the purpose of the trip. Then there are swarms of Secret Service officials that surround the President 24-7, 365 days a year. And yet, one sedan, one driver could pose a threat. Funding to the Secret Service is no joke either. In financial year 2023 alone, the U.S. Secret Service's proposed budget stood at a whopping $2.97 billion. That's right, almost $3 billion. That's more than the GDP of a few countries. While official budget documents remain tight-lipped about how much of this goes to protecting the president. Since the U.S. Secret Service is also responsible for other missions, like investigating financial crimes, cyber crimes, missing children cases, etc., it's obvious that it is not a small sum. There's an abundance of funding and no shortage of cars, personnel or latest technology for the motorcade. Yet there is no guarantee that the car crash was a one-off incident. That ahead of the crucial presidential elections and at a geopolitically volatile time, the President of the United States will remain safe. So is Joe Biden's security in a shambles? Bureau Report, Beyond World is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.